webinar on WinCE.net controllers and programming. Today we're going to be discussing WinCE.net controllers and programming languages including C Sharp, C++, and VB.net. We're going to also be going over our Windows CE.NET based programmable automation controllers, free e-logger and easy data logger software that we provide with our packs, and SCADA software that can be used for control and monitoring with WinCE.NET programmable automation controllers. If you have any questions at any time, please enter them into the chat box. I'm Maria Lamoni, Sales Manager here at ICPDS USA. We provide industrial grade data acquisition, data communication, control, wireless, and touchscreen equipment. We also provide SCADA control and monitoring software. We provide free technical support and provide programming services and training classes out of our office in Lomita, California, near Los Angeles. We provide free programming services for very small and very large projects. Windows CE.NET is a Windows embedded operating system that's written in C language and it allowed us to create a customized user interface for use in our WinPack and ViewPack type controllers. WinCE.NET allows for networking and supports easy to use development tools for testing and debugging applications. WinCE.NET provides core operating system services like other Windows operating systems including Windows 7 and Windows XP. It's widely used in industrial control systems. It supports file systems and data storage, multimedia and security. It also includes a web browser shell and user interface. It's widely used in industrial control systems, mobile applications, and advanced consumer electronics. VB.NET, or Visual Basic.NET, was launched in 2002 and is a high-level programming language implemented on the .NET framework. It's based on Visual Basic programming language. In 2005, they started calling it VB.NET, and it uses if, then, else, do, until loops, and for statements to specify different actions. It also supports a graphical user interface and is very easy to use. Statements are terminated with a colon or end of line. You can create projects with Visual Studio Development Environment, and when you're developing your project, you specify the device that the project will go on is going to be embedded. It supports message boxes, buttons, text fields, and other graphical user interface elements. This is an example of the development type environment. On the left, you can see there's different objects and items that you can use when you're creating your different form elements. Microsoft Visual C Sharp, or C++, is a high-level object-oriented general purpose programming language that features tools for development and debugging code for Microsoft Windows API and .NET Framework. Many libraries are provided that help with development. It supports complicated applications that can interface with e-commerce, web search, or SQL servers. It supports many different kinds of functions and high-level features for project organization and reusability. It can also be used for low-level memory manipulation. So, for example, you could use C++ code to use a WinPack WinCE.NET controller to act as a communications medium if you wanted to use it to pass data back and forth between different systems. C Sharp is a higher level and more advanced object oriented programming language. Programmers that are familiar with C and C++ can understand C Sharp easily as portability was kept in mind when designing the language. So it imports IntelliSense so you can start typing in um, some of your code and it could populate or guess what you might be trying to type and you can select that. And you can see there's a difference between the C++ and the C Sharp, some different syntax capabilities and capabilities. Um, so we provide demo programs for our equipment and our uh, programmable type devices and PC boards, 
Many of them are available in C Sharp or C++ and also VB.net. You can see the user interface on the left. The coding area is on the right, and you can have many different files in your project. And it could, you could, it could support very complicated type structures. So we provide WinCE.net inside of our WinPack and ViewPack type controllers. The WinPack comes in an embedded version or in a type that supports cartridge I.O. slots. It comes in one, four, or eight slot versions. And for the embedded version shown here on the right, uh, you can use the expansion I.O. and those can fit right inside. The ViewPack supports three I.O. slots and comes with 3.5 or 5.0 inch touchscreens on board. They have a fast performance with the fast processors and also have a variety of communication ports. And they support a high operating temperature and low operating temperature of negative 25 to 75 Celsius. Then the I.O. slots, uh, they also, the cartridges come in either I.O. or you can add different kinds of communications. So you can add CAN communication or device net or other kinds. And we also have gateways so you can add Ethernet IP type communication, for example. Um, the benefits of running Windows CE.net on a, on a embedded type controllers are hard real-time capability, deterministic control. The pack itself can be used just similarly to a PC as it has the Windows-based operating environment, so you can connect a mouse and keyboard and use it kind of like a computer. Now you can also, there's certain versions that come with IEC 611.31 type programming language development, so you can develop ladder logic type applications on some of them. You can also attach a touch screen. You can create data management applications and exchange data with other equipment. We provide a free software tool, SoftGraph, for making HMI with our IEC 611.31 type development environment. We also provide DCS systems for remote redundant I.O., and those can also be used with our Windows CE.NET base packs. They also come with redundant power inputs, so if one of the power supplies should go out, you would still have power and your system would still be up and running. For the DCS systems, you can use redundant controllers. So you could have two controllers where one picks up should one of the entire controllers fail. There are many different kinds of COM ports available, including RS-485. And you can daisy chain RS-485 devices like data loggers, I.O. modules, expansion racks. You can also use cartridge modules to add more RS-485 ports on your system to connect with more modules, more RS-485 devices, and expansion racks. Our Windows CE.NET packs also support Modbus. We provide a lot of free software for our WinCE.NET controllers. They come with the FTP server, HTTP server. So the FTP server is for transferring files. The HTTP server, you can publish a web page to the WinPack itself, and you can use that to display information or to gather information. It also supports advanced scripting. You can use the SQL Server that comes on board for data logging, um, advanced querying of information from the data that you stored in the database. It, we also provide a free software with our WinPacks that allow for remote maintenance. The VCEP software allows for you, it's kind of like uh, a remote remoting into your PC so you can connect just as if you were at the, the controller itself. It also has an OPC server for data sharing and data collection. We also provide NAP OPC server and that is something that you can use with our devices or you can purchase it and use it with other vendors devices. 
eLogger is a free data logging, control, and monitoring type application that we provide for use with our WinPacks. And you can install it on your PC, create a program, and then upload it to the WinPack controller. And the controller can work as a standalone control and monitoring system. It's very easy to use, and, and you can set it up very quickly. There are different tools and drag and drop features like the gauges, the text box, and um, you can make buttons to display information or to make to change things. You, it also supports scripting. Free Easy Data Logger is a software we provide that you can install on a PC. You can use it with our I.O. modules, but you can also use it with the WinPacks that have cartridges on board to see the status of I.O. from a PC. So not only can you have a standalone controller with the WinPack, but you can also see the data from a remote software like the Free Easy Data Logger, which supports email alarms based on information. It also supports up to 64 I.O. tags. For larger systems, you could use the advanced version, or you can use SCADA software like Indusoft that we provide that supports tens of thousands of tags and has advanced features like multi-language support. Um, multiple users can have different permissions to access different areas of your project. You can make customized reports. You can do trending. Um, Easy Data Logger also supports trending, but Indusoft has a lot of advanced type trending features and um, alarms. You can make an alarm window specific for events that you want to see on a certain screen. So it's much more customizable. If you have any questions, please type them into the chat box. Um, Indusoft is not free. Um, it does have a cost, so I can send you some information on pricing on that. We do offer a free hour of web-based training with our Indusoft software, or uh, with any of our SCADA software packages, actually. So, <clears throat> um, but it, it depends on which package that you purchase. So if you have any questions about the pricing or the free training, uh, please feel free to contact our sales department. And we can cater the training around your application. Uh, I guess if there's no other questions, thank you so much for coming to our training. If you would like a more in-depth training on any topic, please let us know. And uh, thank you so much and have a great day.